the car is now in the air. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking. No, I, <laughs> for a second there, I was afraid that I took the uh, or I lifted the car up. I knew I wouldn't be able to get the fucking wheels off. Luckily enough, it's the back wheels, so we should be okay. We'll be alright. Right, let's crack them off. Let's go. Okay, so I have another little update for you guys. So as you've seen, I was just taking the bolts off, the wheels on the 350. But if you see here, I have a nut that won't come out. So, I don't know what to do. Uh, there was two um, kind of uh, adapters for, sorry, hold on, let's turn around. There was two adapters for the 350, in the 350. Uh, for taking wheel nuts off <sighs> But none of them fit So I have most of the wheel fucking off, but I can't get the whole thing off Shit 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 <laughs> Two back tires? Ah. Let's go. Hey guys, what's the crack? So, uh, what has been going on since I last picked up the camera? Uh, I can't get the calipers off. I don't know why I can't. I'm swinging out of it. I just can't get it going. Uh, I'm hoping maybe my dad will come back or Lucas will come back and come up with some sort of idea. I've sprayed them all with WD-40, so hopefully, hopefully that'll do something. Hopefully, fingers crossed, okay, fingers crossed. Um, in the meantime, I got the split pin out of the hub now and I'm to getting this big ash out here and I'm gonna try and break her it off. Uh, wish me luck. Hopefully I don't have as much bad luck as I've been having so far. Uh, I'm just kind of skipping around the step that I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, but it should be okay. Let's do it. Fuming. Fucking fuming. Fuming. It's just spinning. See the way it started catching and started to ring the nut? We're not going to fucking keep going on that. <sighs> Shit. It's very frustrating. We're gonna keep on going though. Hopefully it goes well. Okay. It's been about an hour and a half. I've started cracking the drive shaft bolts for they started to actually break, thank God. Um so I've gotten two of them off so far. It's a bullet there. Um hard work. Hard work when all your bolts are all rusty. So uh, we're gonna keep going. And hopefully our call for help. Uh, well, hopefully we get some help soon. As time lapse, me working on the rest of this. It's very time consuming, so hopefully it should go fast for you guys. So, uh, onto the final bolt on the driver's side at the moment. As you can see, it was sunny earlier, it's raining now. Lots of fun. At least I'm inside, at least I'm covered. We're gonna keep on going. Oh, I'm not looking forward to the left-hand side. Hey, success. Great success! Great success. I have that one off. It's actually a lot of work when you're on your own. Jumping in and out and pulling the handbrake and then moving it and then... Ah, it's more tedious. Um, as you can see the van's now arrived. Um, my dad's here so hopefully he'll be able to assist in some way. 
uh, with this one. Um, yeah. So we're gonna keep it on going. I might have to remove the exhaust so I can get a bit of clearance under there. Jesus Christ, it's some job. Hello guys, how are you? Uh, so, as I told you in the last clip, my dad came home and... Oh, sorry, there's a bit of rust in my eye. Um, look what's gone. The calipers are on the back, hanging on a bit of wire. Fucking amazing. And then the other side, also completely done. That was some fucking job getting them off, I'll tell you that much. I'll fucking tell you that for free. Getting them off. Because it's really, really fucking rusty, right? It took so much longer than you'd expect. <sighs> Done now. Um, I have the right hand side drive shaft off. Uh, I also have the exhaust in the middle hanging down uh, so I could get a bit more clearance uh, to remove the drive shaft bolt on the passenger side. Uh, that is kind of my next task at the moment is just to get under, get that done. Uh, yeah. Things are things are starting to look up anyways. Things are starting to look well. Um, and unfortunately we don't have the hub nut. We don't have a tool for the hub nut there. Uh, so that is another thing I'm gonna have to work on. Uh, we've asked the buddy of ours, Graham, uh, down the road, and he's gonna drop up the hub nuts to us so we'll be able to break it. Uh, as you can see, I'm a bit drained. That was harder than expected even though I did the brakes in the GT86 this is this was definitely harder uh, it definitely shown its age from the uh, definitely shown its age since it's 2004 them bolts were stuck on absolutely welded on with rust uh, surprisingly enough the car is not too rusty underneath um, it may need a W brace um, but other than that, really, 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 really good. Uh, I hope you're enjoying so far. If you are, please go down and hit subscribe and hit the like button. It means a lot to us and it helps us do better with uh, YouTube's algorithm and stuff like that. So more people can find the YouTube channel. So please hit them buttons. It means a lot. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Fucking scary! <laughs> you get under there, you're just winging it. Aren't you? Oh, man, that thing nearly shit. came down. That won't go anywhere, man. Really? Yeah, it won't go anywhere. It won't. It won't go anywhere, <laughs> man. That is on the knee. Rusty bitch, isn't she? She is, but she's not that bad. Yeah, she's not that bad. Just needs a little love. Hey. And the heat shield is up. Right. Hey guys, so little update for where we are now. We've had Brandon and Peter over uh, helping us with the mechanical side of things because shit just got fucked up for a very long time. Uh, so I'll get a bit of a torch and maybe show you. Brandon's just gonna start cutting that up uh, and I'll just show you that where we are. You probably won't be able to hear me for a minute, so I'll be back in a sec. Hey guys, so it's a new day. Uh, you might not be able to tell I'm wearing the same stuff just because I don't want to ruin any more of my clothes. Uh, getting out crawling around the floor or underneath the car. But let me show you what we got up to yesterday. Okay. So story time. That looks great, nice and glittery. Right. So I'm not sure how much I said yesterday. Okay, first things first. I've taken the wheels off, there's five nuts. Four of them used one lock nut. And then the other ones had a separate one that was somewhere in the fucking car. So I had to search through the whole car, it took me about an hour to find, and I found the lock nut. So this car is just not wanting to do anything. After that then I tried to break the nuts loose on the uh, caliper that's hanging on there at the moment. And that wouldn't break for a year. That just got stuck. Um, 
so then I needed help with that. So then I moved on to the axle nuts and I got, got all of them off, except for one, and then I couldn't get that off, no matter how much I tried. So frustrating. Whoa, that frightened me, not gonna lie. So, then after that then, I needed help again to try and get that off. And then when I removed the brake shoe on this side completely, uh, on the passenger side, then we couldn't get the hub nut off because the GK Tech told us to take the hub nut or take everything off and then take the hub nut off. But then obviously the hub just spins because everything's disconnected. So I had to call a buddy of ours, Peter, who helped us do the painting. Big shout out to Peter, absolute legend. Uh, so he came up with the solution to put it into first gear. We were just trying to reassemble the brakes and put the brakes back on, put the shaft back on, like reassemble everything just to do that one fucking job. But he said, put it into first. Uh, attach it to the shaft and boom he broke the nut he was here for about 30 seconds already had it broken what a legend serious help right there that's done <clears throat> then we have brandon over our buddy as well he's our mechanic uh for the track and stuff like that he helped us cut up the dust shield so he angled around that and also have taken some of the nuts off on our knee big shout out to him as well absolute legend uh so that's all done now um, we have the dust shields off, I have the new brackets ready to go on, all the spacers, all the kit, all of the GK Tech kit over this side here. So my job today is to clean up the dust shields, give them a sand back, spray them, clean them, same with the, same with the axles, I'm going to clean them up as well, give them a spray back as well, just tidy everything up, make them look real nice before we put them back on, uh, that's the main thing. So that's what I'm gonna start doing today and then we should start assembly very, very soon. So, hope you're enjoying this video so far. I've been very stressed. I just don't like breaks, it seems. <laughs> but yeah, let's keep going, guys. Let's go. Safety goggles back on. looking a little worse for wear very fucking dirty on my face anyways uh so let me just show you where i'm at uh the camera did die earlier on so it is what it is there is the two axles and it's sprayed red i wanted to do black maybe blue um but there was no paint anywhere that i could use no paint no blue paint anywhere and i started assembling the left hand side usually I record the right hand side so I can kind of sit it somewhere nice there and show you guys what I'm doing but um, see this is the driver driver side here so what I did was I cleaned it all with the um, the grinder with the wire brush attachment I cleaned it all I sanded it all back and then I sprayed it with some clear coat just to protect it also did the same with the bottom of the hubs so they're all uh, sanded back and then clear coated as well to protect them from rust. And then if you come over here, I've started assembling this side. So you'll see the brackets now in, the hubs now in, and there's an axle spacer at the back there. So I'm just waiting for the axles to dry. And then once they dry, I'll record a little bit of doing this side and then show you guys me doing the entire other side uh, in a bit more detail. Was just kind of figuring myself out this time because last time I just started showing you guys everything, uh, things just kept going wrong. Uh, look at me goggles on top, yeah, but uh, things kept going wrong. It's cars, we know shit like this happens all the time, but uh, we're gonna keep on going. And hopefully them axles dry soon. And when they dry, 
we'll get going. I'll pop that up. It's a, it's a really nice kit though, I have to say. There's a brand new nuts gone in to hold the hub in, extended ones, um, to hold it in. And the red doesn't actually look too bad. I mean, again, I would have preferred if it was nice black, but uh, red will do the job. Red will do the job. Uh, I also got some good news. So obviously the wheels that I'm running on the car at the moment, they are, uh, the wheels I'm running at the moment are a set of 20s and they're great for street driving but uh track driving they're a big big no-no really well drifting 20s are a bit big probably for my car so i've ordered a set of 18 inch wheels uh some ultralights uh i don't know much more about it they're ultralights they are like a bronzy kind of gold and they have been collected today up in oma uh, up in Northern Ireland, so uh, they should be delivered very soon and when they do hopefully If I'm still recording this video you guys will see it in this video if not It'll be in a follow-up video of uh, getting the wheels for the car, but awesome looking wheels uh, And now if anyone knows where I can source some uh, drifting tires uh, Me and Lucas will need a good few sets because we are booked in to go to Mondello Park uh, for the Drift Games Drive, I believe it is, on the 7th of June. So, if any of you guys are going there, make sure to come up and say hello. Uh, we're excited to go and excited to get out there. But yeah, uh, basically if anyone knows where we can get some cheap tires, my wheels will be 18s, uh, a big drop from the 20s, but uh, they'll be going down to 18s. So, uh, if anyone knows where I can find a cheap set, cheap sets, of kind of we tires for drifting uh, please let me know comment section below or uh, drop us a DM on Instagram or even Facebook and then we'll get back to you we appreciate you we love you make sure you hit subscribe I'll see you guys in a second okay okay so uh, one of the axles is now dry it's time to install it so as I told you already, I have one side pretty much done already. I'll take you guys through the next side in a few moments. So I hope you enjoy this time lapse of me fitting this axle. Um, I'm I probably told you before, but I'll tell you again. I have like a Coca-Cola bath going on here for all the bolts, and I've taken six of them out there for doing this job. So let's see how it goes. See you guys, you fit the bracket on, two bolts through, and then pop the heat shield on, and then the whole bar, and just bolt it in from the back. I have a torque wrench there, and you should do it to 88 uh, Newton meters as far as I know. Yeah, that's it. And that's the sound you want to hear, ADA. All right, guys, what's the crack? So we now have the second shaft up. Brando is giving me a hand with that. He has that up in there. Oh, now you've probably seen us doing it. But this whole assembly is completed on this side as well. So yeah, things are going well. Much easier than taking it apart, that's for fucking sure. But yeah, going great. Okay guys, it is now time to try and test fit after me trying to fit the brakes. It's my first time doing the shoes. Uh, let's see how it goes. 
please spit, please spit, please spit, please spit. Oh my god, amazing. Thank god. Great success. story guys so I have just finished with the help of Brandon assembling this side it is fully assembled all in place not a bother on it all good the hood yuck the fuck so now I'm gonna go on to the opposite side time lapse the shit out of that and get it done it's gonna look great and then we should be testing it and bleeding it later I do still have to cut the uh, axle no hub no whatever the fuck you call it but uh yeah it's the last thing on that side okay good that handbrake looks in there come on to fuck let's go next day now and we are filling up the reservoir and I have Lucas underneath the counter he is working hard as well so now we're gonna bleed the lions so you ready cracked yeah, I'm still holding it bro still still, still holding it so a little tip for you guys if you're doing this yourself at home and it's an internal one like this inside the dash just stick two uh, cloths in there just in case because if you pull on the hydro it could fly out a lot of fluid so uh just don't want that shit on your electronics you know so what you do is you just pump the hydro Ooh, and you've seen that release in there and lucas just gets the air out in his little tool that we have but yeah it's going well so far so good and then we start pumping and the fluid levels low so we're gonna top that back up again okay nice and high and yank it nice and slowly until we build some pressure again oh it's getting nice Okay, when you're ready, bud. He releases the nipple. And then the arm comes down further. Hey guys, how are you doing? So, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm taking the beautiful 350Z outside and I'm just gonna pull, test pull the Hydro. Uh, as you've seen, we bled it, we've done everything. So let's just do a quick test run uh, before I get it back in the garage and back to more drift prep sorry with the horrible weather just how good she looking hell uh, yeah I hope that turned out good because I can't do it again. <laughs> Don't want to disturb the neighbors. So I hope that was good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I um, hope it was good. Just let me come inside here a minute. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you learned uh, a little thing or two about installing hydro handbrakes and uh, dual calipers to your car. Whether it be a 350Z, 
or any gorgeous car out there, I hope you learned something today. We had some ups, we had some downs, but that's going to be it for today's video. Next week, we're going to have some, uh, some more special content, some more 350Z content. Uh, Lucas will be doing some work on his, so um, that should be coming very soon as well. And uh, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. I've been Evan, this has been Dovoki Garage, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.